one or whatever. I got quarters here. So everyone's seen this before, right? I got a switch here I painted and it's wireless. I'm gonna mount it here, somewhere over here. And this wirelessly turns on the lights for my coin door, the, the monitor, pixel kit, and also powers the PC. So that's the PC light. The fire up the fire up the PC. Zip it around. Everyone look sharp. We're approaching the base. That's a nice paint job. And then today came the real toy, the Epson LS 500B. The ultra short throw 4K 3D projector. Testing it out. I'm using speaker. I'm using my computer speaker. It's loud as it's just loud as hell. But the screen doesn't come until tomorrow. So instead of having a big, my big, you know, uh, TV over. Instead of having your big TV on your TV stand, this is what a short throw projector does. It literally just sits right on your your TV stand or if you have a rolling uh, thing whatever and it projects it projects up to like a hundred and there's the here's the new system We got the digital marquee, the pixel cade LCD. This is the arcade one hyperspin build, 16 terabyte. And everything works. So like what if we let's say uh let's say let's go to uh go to arcade games, so we'll go to MAME. Right, um, everyone knows 1943, right? Select. Let it load up. <clears throat> I don't want to do it to remote for the uh, wires. All right, so, so right here we could do, you know, you can do coins regular. Then it goes in right there. But also, you take a quarter and and put you put quarters in that way. <laughs> It's got a spinner, trackball, four-way joystick. I wonder the four-way the four-way joystick probably better on on this game actually than uh, the eight-way. But look how beautiful that pixel kit the uh, pixel kit marquee is. So I also uh, I also mounted one of the light guns. I didn't drill the hole though for the uh, for the cable to go in, so uh, is it? Can I? No, I won't. will it let me rotate? Nope, can't rotate in uh, live chat. So let me just uh, exit out of here. Oop. Um, yeah, I'll show you some real quick. Man, it's super bright. I wish I could adjust the, uh... I don't know how to adjust any of the, like, settings for the filming. Or else, or else I would for you guys. But, uh... Because it's just, like, 
It feels like it's over, like, too bright. No, hold on one second. Where are you guys? There we go, sending. So that's all I got, sending. I'm just gonna grab my player two one. Everyone remembers, uh, everyone remembers Area 51, right? set up that's that's arcade one's uh, build uh, you don't gotta do anything the gun is already set up to go realize I pulled <laughs> I hit the player one start button yeah that's one-handed guys I'm in the the Sindin uh, category. I don't know why. I don't know why the Neo Geo uh, thing is on there. I'll just put some more coins in. <laughs> if I had another hand, you could you could use the gun and just put coins in. So. You guys heard that. Let me just see if it. Well, no, my uh, pixel cade isn't changing. Anyway, that's the only game I wanted to show you. Anyway, so let that shut down. Gun player number two goes back in the holster. For now, I just tuck the cable behind the cabinet until I until I drill the holes tomorrow. And so now you see the lights on my coin door stay on. The monitor goes off, but the pixel cage stays on. But with this like $10 gadget, boom, it, it cuts the power to the to everything. And for any of you that want to buy one, now, now it's real dark. <laughs> it's because I, I got Godzilla playing on here. So that's the wireless remote control outlet see that so it works perfect for for if you have a an arcade build with a pixel cage and the pixel cage uh, doesn't go off 
because <clears throat> obviously you can't just shut off that's why I have the button here for the, the PC because you, you have to shut your computer down uh, correctly or else you'll 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 wind up messing up your hard drives and stuff. you'll you'll ruin the image if you have a raspberry if you're running on a raspberry pi you can just shut it off so this is the this is the uh the new projector let me try to get back it's a it's on a uh you can see how bright it is this is a, I, I picked a bad movie to try and show this so everything's everything's like pitch black dark it's like watching the last season of uh it's like watching the last season of game of thrones when they had, when they had the battle and you couldn't friggin see what the hell was going on let's see Uh, oh, there we go. So right now, as you can see, let me see if you can see it. It's HD, HDR Plus B2 2020, that's what you want. Of course, it, it went away as I was trying to show you. <laughs> but it also supports 3D. All right, we'll do it right here. That's easier for you. I don't want to blind you guys. See, laser. Uh, 3D, HDR, all the goodies. It's at 50% right now, and and I don't even have it on the screen. So, um, what's what's crazy is, so the, the this is a color of my walls, typical Guinea, uh, Italian, you know, style. <laughs> you got like the picture for you know picture with the friggin' old Italy. <laughs> and then uh, I owe every apartment, every every apartment I ever had or house. I I always paint my walls this light color tan. I don't know. My mom used to always do it, so it makes I don't know. It makes it cozy when you paint it like a earth earth tone. So it's always a light tan, and then everything matches it. So you can put black. I have a, like a dark green. This is a dark green couch, but. I don't know if you could tell how how big it is. It's like it's almost like a twin size bed. This is the only couch that I could lay on. I'm six one, so I could actually lay on, and my feet don't hit the end. So that that's the reason why I got that couch. But um, uh, a certain special female is coming over tomorrow. And we're gonna figure out how to make this more of like a lounging area. If I had if I had two of these two ottomans, uh, I could just add them like that, and it would be like just a huge king size bed. Um, here's the dog. Look how comfortable the dogs are. Believe it or not, they're they're twins. And Sean, if you're still watching, you're. Uh, I gotta. Have, I'm just gonna buy you something. <laughs> Seriously, or build you a computer. I, I actually have parts to a computer. I don't know if you want to go. Uh, you'd have to. You would. You'd have to buy a case, like a real case, not like a. If I'm gonna build you one, I'm not gonna build you like a cheap piece of crap. Um, I'm not sure, Sean, if you know, but. Uh, I don't remember when you started following, but I, I used to have a at games pinball table. Yeah, this this looks ghetto, but uh, this is how I cover my pinball table to keep the dust off. You see that window right there? So here's here's my dilemma, and uh, Sean, if you're if you're still in the chat, uh, he knows this, and he'll he'll he's probably laughing at me. But I am obsessed with OLED screens. Uh, like that's why this is an OLED. Uh, my full DMD is an OLED. This is not. This is the LG 
1440p uh 165 hertz the, that 32 inch screen that we all have for our pinball tables the at game pinball tables so this screen though is the 4k version of that and it it's the closest thing to an oled that you can get like real like seriously like it's amazing um but what people don't know is besides just color you know like unlimited blacks unlimited uh you know because it, it can just shut it just shuts the pixels off so you get pure blacks you don't get dimmed pixels so you get you know exactly what it's supposed to look like um let me see but besides that oleds also are great for gaming uh there's no burning in i don't care what anyone says i have uh i have the service remote for for lg tvs that's uh the remotes that because i know the code that when they come to fix your tv they use a, they use a different remote not, not the remote that came with it they use a different remote that I think I have under here somewhere. There it is. Nope, that's not it. As you can see, I have a million remotes in here. That's all the HDMI wires. See, I'm gonna have to clean all this crap out if I decide to keep the <laughs> the, the the what do you call it? The projector. So. I need to know uh, what your opinions are of what I should do because I only I have a couple. Actually, I have a more than a couple days to figure it out. But this is 3D too, and and what's great is like this 3D is first of all I never seen 3D with on anything with HDR because hold on let me lower this. Oh, that was just the base. Um, when HDR first came out and 4K TVs, that was after the the 3D boom or whatever. So, but I I got the le the very last you know active glasses that like actual they, you know they, you charge them and they actually work. And these. When, when 3D first came out, you could not watch a movie. It was like you were wearing like v a VR headset. These are, look, they're like regular glasses. They're not dark. You know what I mean? That you can wear them comfortably. You can watch a whole movie. It's not going to bother you. But the original ones I had for my plasma were like these big giant things, you know? But I, I I had these for one of my 3D. And then 3D, of course, stopped. But I have tons of 3D Blu-rays in there. So I'm good to go with that. Like all the uh, Avengers stuff and a lot of other stuff. Um, let me just... Let me grab a... Uh, say, this is my baby. This, this is the 65-inch LG C9. Uh, and yes, this is my my bedroom. And yes, it does make women angry if you're dating them and you and you want to you have a giant tv that keeps them up all night because you don't have to go to work in the morning so you could just stay up and play video games and everything it just pisses them off uh just a little uh a little tip for you guys trying what movie is good with like for color cartoons right incredibles uh, if you can't tell, I'm addicted to 4K uh, movies. And, you know, Walmart. Look, they're all even in order because I have OCD. <laughs> I even got DC Universe. The only thing I don't have in here right now is, uh, what do you call it? The new... Um, Jesus, I just went blank. Oh, it's uh, DC. So, the new Shazam movie. I actually, I have the new Shazam movie on, on Vudu and everything like that. But I don't have the actual hard copy. Um, 
trying crudes. That's a color that, that has nice color and stuff in it. But I want some kind of like action, man. I can't think of friggin' what to show, put on there. I thought it would be, you know, I thought it would be bright and stuff. But King Kong, I realized, not King Kong, Godzilla is all is like dark most of the movie. Because everything's on fire and stuff. <laughs> uh, ch -ch -ch. Aquaman's kind of colorful, believe it or not. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I'll just put, let's go to cartoon. Uh, the Incredibles, let me see. Is Dolby Atmos? Yeah, screw it. So I'll show you what it looks like with uh, the with a colorful. Tomorrow I get the screen. Uh, the best thing ever I showed. I must have showed everyone who would look. Um, so I have I have the app on my phone for Best Buy. You know, just like most people have, like wherever they shop. Um, I shop at Best Buy way too much, obviously, but I, I have a pro membership there. It's not a, not the credit card. It's just you pay two hundred dollars a year, and anything you buy is covered. So, like you know how they always try and sell you like a you know warranty or anything. If you pay the two hundred dollars for the whole year, as long as you it's, you know after the year's up as long as you renew it every single thing you buy is covered and when i mean covered i mean they come to your house uh geek squad if they if you need your computer fix um they will come and they'll they'll set up your if say you buy a tv they do free delivery for the tv most of the time it's always free delivery but if you you if you look at the fine print you know, setup they say is free or it's part of it or fifty bucks they charge. Setup, all that means is that they take the TV out of the box, put it on your stand or whatever, and hook your cable box up to it. That doesn't mean that they're gonna mount it on your wall for you. That's actually in its own uh <laughs> in its own category called mounting. So you get that for free also. But um, the thing that's crazy is you have to, with, with Best Buy, you have to constantly, um, constantly check the price on that app because, oh, here it is. Because, so the, the, the projector, it goes anywhere from 2400 which is what you should pay for it, up to like five thousand for this projector, all right. But twenty, between two thousand and twenty four hundred is like a decent price, right? The screen, the screen's very important. Uh, like I said, this is a tan wall, and it's all uneven. The sheetrock is like all busted up. You know what I mean? So like, there's no way to get the screen to be perfect. Um, you know what I mean? So like. You need the screen. You need the screen. And the screen I got is it's silver. It looks like a it basically looks like a silver like picture that you have hanging on your your wall or whatever. But as you can see like I got all the all the lights on in here and look at you you, you can read that perfectly clear. So I know most people don't care, but anyone that is into tech and stuff, they they understand what that you know what it means so uh just play movie so and i'm using like i said i'm using the pc speakers they're, they're thx though and the subwoofer that are supposed to go into um into my arcade actually you know what this doesn't really put off that much light so i'm going to turn this on and then hit this button, and then that'll fire up. I, I need some kind of light in here. So I can walk around and I can see. Look at 
Look at that. Look how beautiful that picture is, man. And that's on... That's on a screen that... That's not even a... You know, that's on a wall, actually. But the base is insane on this. I have it on halfway right now. So, Mr. Incredible, do you have a secret identity? Every superhero has a secret right. identity. I don't know a single one who doesn't. Who wants the pressure of being super all the time? Supermarket? Come on. I'm going to go shopping as a last to go, you know what I mean? Super ladies, they always trying to tell you their secret identity. They get strength in their relationship. Here she is. She's beautiful. I don't want to know about your mild-mannered alter ego or anything like that. I mean, you tell me you're a super mega ultra lightning babe, that's all right with me. I'm good. Is this not displaying in 16.9? Looks like it's in 4-3. to get back in jeopardy again. I mean, sometimes I just want it to stay saved, you know, for a little bit. I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for, for 10 minutes? Oh, information. Let's see. Please. No, it's, it's uh, HDR 10, 2160p, 24 hertz. Kidding? I'm at the top of my game. I'm right up there with the big dogs. Girls, come on. Please, you're saving the world to the men? That doesn't look like uh, 24 k to me. Oh, there we go. That's 4K. Okay. So that's without a... With, without... A screen, and what the screen does is, see how you that that uh that washout look that you're you that you might be seeing that you could see like right here in the black and stuff. The screen gets rid of that, and it it actually it makes the HDR stand out, stand out even more. But I know uh, you guys can't tell this how the sound is, how awesome it is. But take my word for it. These are the best for your arcade. These are, or I guess for your home stereo. I'm gonna get a, a sound bar, but these are amazing, man. Amazing. You get those. Two TH speakers, and then you get this 10-inch subwoofer, which which does not fit in the At Games cabinet, but it does fit in your if you make your own cabinet. <laughs> so this is the model. This is what I always buy. This is the fourth one I bought. <laughs> the Z623, 400 watt Logitech from Best Buy, and. You just lay the speakers right there, left and right. You put the, you know, the, the bass tube in the bottom or subwoofer, whatever you want to call it. And you crank the volume up on the speakers, you know, almost all the way, not all the way, because you don't want it to be like that. And then uh, one thing I didn't show you guys is in here in this little compartment this is usually lit up you know when it's on but you know most people if you have a new keyboard you can control the sound in windows say right here i control the sound there i control control the sound from here plug in my headphones there so so you put those speakers in Instead of wiring up speakers and having to use an amplifier, it, my pinball table has those same speakers. They're just standing behind the LEDs. And you get the bass. But as you can see, look at that picture, man. It's insane. Now I don't know what to do. Because it's either this, it's, I re, it's either I return the the uh, projector 
which to be honest with you like there's so many settings and stuff it's a little uh overwhelming to be honest with you um like getting everything to work i'm not sure if i uh, you know not sure how i mean i'm sure i could figure it out but uh i don't know man i always wanted that that oled an 84 inch oled and they mounted on the wall for me you know uh and it doesn't cost me anything you know what i'm saying so when they when i have them mounted on the wall oh by the way uh for those that are just joining like obviously you see the black bars off that's what we're looking at is about about what an 84 inch screen is believe it or not i measure i have the measuring tape there so because i wanted to see what would the oled be like and so the oled would be exactly what you are seeing right now <clears throat> but with the oled it has vrr you know it has g-sync it's 4k 120 this is 4k 60 and uh this computer right here has the ryzen 9 7950X 3D CPU, uh, RTX 4070 Ti video card. So I get, I'll be hitting that 4K 120. I don't know, man. I will do. Plus, I really don't want to feel like putting together the uh, the screen and and hanging it. It does look awesome. Oh man, I got like a couple days to decide, I guess. Oh, this is because I don't have powers, isn't it? Well, not every superhero has powers, you know. You it, this, uh, this actually came with like its own kind of generic fire, fire stick. Like an Epson fire stick. It's like, it's pretty weird. <laughs> It's located. It, it's located in the in the front. They have like a secret compartment. I can't go over there because I'm a little blind. Where is it? Yeah, I can't. I can't look because the lasers are right there. Anyway. It's in there. Unless it's in the back. Wait, is it on the back? Yes, it is on the back. Yeah. So look, it actually comes with... If we can get a bright... <laughs> of course, we have a night scene. Oh, all right, and it's for you guys. This is like torture for you guys, and as it is. <clears throat> so right in here, look, it's like this weird Epson Fire Stick that they have, <laughs> and they, it comes with it. It's like garbage though, like it runs super slow, like it's not, it's not like a, you could put a real fire stick in there though, uh, it's just that, uh, they decided to, what do you call it, they decided to give you one for free, that just doesn't, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't support most of the, uh, the apps, like, I, like, I need the Voodoo app because I have, like, 600 movies purchased in the Voodoo app for, for 4K. So, I need something that's going to be able to play that. I don't know why, uh, like, it has other apps and stuff that you can play. I don't know why it, it doesn't have uh, the Voodoo app. But, it is what it is. I'll put that on later. So, yeah, so this this is the uh, 
short throw projector. This is what they look like. It's about, I have mine right now, what, what is that? I'm gonna move it away from the laser. About a foot and foot, foot and a half, less than, less than that, away from the wall. And it's, it's doing a, it's putting out an image that's probably, um, it's probably close to a hundred inches. It goes up to 150, but, uh, like I was showing you how it had the black bars before, that was the hundred. So this is probably like, I don't know. I, when I measured what a 120 inch screen would be, uh, before buying, cause I, I got a hundred inch screen. It was like it was, it was up to the ceiling, and then it, and then actually all the way down below. I was like, that's just too much, like to take in. I like I would if, if I'm watching a movie, I'll be missing like half the stuff going on because I won't be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? So um, another thing is the screen, the, the screen. This, this is ridiculous, son. Uh, then this is why you have to keep on check-in Best Buy because so this, the screen is an awesome screen alright it's a it's a two thousand dollar screen um, and people say oh well, you, all you need is a white I seen screens for like 30 bucks you know where you just you can buy them that you just need a white or a white wall or even paint or anything I mean this is on a wall it's, it's a it's a tan wall but you could see, because the wall is like uneven from being old, like the sheetrock, you could see it's like all, you know, bending and stuff. Maybe I'm, you know, being too picky, but I mean, when you're watching a, a, a movie that you, you know, and you spent all that money on a projector, you, you, know, you want it to look good, you know? So, all right, so let me go here. I got my my phone it's loading up all right so all right so here's here's what i got here's the projector like i said uh it should be around 2400 for this one all right because it's it's it is a an excellent uh projector but so here's the screen i got you see what I paid nine 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 you know nine hundred ninety nine dollars uh, with tax it came out to one oh six point four but look what happens when you click on it and see how much it costs today that's how much it cost <laughs> I I ordered it Sunday or Saturday on Sunday that was the price <laughs> so I I was like. They're insane. They like they constantly do that. I, I catch them in it all the time. And if you buy something from them and then like three days later you look and see that all right, the screen is two thousand uh, dollars. you know, I, I paid a thousand for it. So I got I got a thousand dollars off the screen just because of no reason. There was no sale or nothing. It was just they just had it listed as a thousand. It was, it's brand new. Um, you know, so you have to keep checking. And then if, if you did pay 2000 for this, and then, and then all of a sudden you see it for 999 you just have to go into Best Buy, your local Best Buy, or call, or call them, and say, look, hey, you just bought this, you give them your name, you have an account there, they, they know everything you purchased and what you paid. And, and they will give you the, the difference. They'll, they'll, you know they're they're cool like that. They they'll honor the fact that you know you just bought it, and because because then technically you could just return everything and then buy it back at the lower price. So to save them all the hassle, um, you know they uh, to save them all the hassle. That that's what it's, that's what it would look like during the day. It's like just a, like a gray screen. You know what I mean? And you see the little projector there, but. It, I, 
that's I'm like torn because in my court, look, I have it. Or I have it in my court. The LG eighty three C two OLED. Hey, as you see, like because I'm a total tech uh, member, so like instead of you know, it would have cost two hundred and forty nine dollars for them to come, you know, bring it up the stairs, uh, mount it on the wall. You know what I mean? And look, you get it free. You know what I mean? And then I get uh, protection for up to twenty four months. That's how long your membership is. So it's worth paying two hundred dollars and you know, and getting the the getting the coverage for everything and having them do all the work. You know, so I, I don't I don't know, man. I kind of want to get the te- the you know the the OLED and just because I know what, you just throw it on the wall. I already have this TV and this smaller uh, in a smaller version, and I know like there there is nothing to it. You know what I mean? It's it's simple. I could just hook up whatever I want to it and know how everything will work. You know. So that's about it. There's a bunch of remotes here. So I'm not sure which one is the... This is the main one. Let's see if it takes me to the main screen. No, oh, it's See, it's, it's, it's trying. It's trying to go through that stupid, uh, cheap knockoff fire stick, <laughs> which I don't want it to do. But that's just the way it is. See right there. See, it's the H. I don't know. I know you can't see it. HDMI three is their fire stick. <laughs> That's what's crazy about it. Let me see if the TV, uh, regular cable vision, not cable vision, um, what do you call it? BIOS is working. Maybe that's working, just so you can see with, like, regular TV and not, uh, and not, you know, 4K, Blu-ray, or anything. This is brutal, guys. Trust me, it's worse for me than it is for you. Regular TV. It, it looks pretty awesome. I mean, you know, it's. Look at that. That's that's just regular old TV. There's it's not, you know, there's no HDR. There's no four. It's not 4K. They have 4K channels, but there's there's never nothing playing on them. You guys got to watch From. It's the most, it's the awesome, best show on TV right now. What sucks is that it, instead of it putting out the whole season like they used to, they just, they're releasing one to one a week every Sunday. Uh, I like to binge watch it so to get it over with, so, but yeah, there's not going to be nothing, nothing on any of these. 4K channels. All right.
Nope. No soccer. No league pass. I can't get over how how good reg regular TV looks. Looks better than it does on my other TV. Baseball. Football. Oh, I can't wait. This is definitely like the screen you want to be watching football on. Yeah, for you NASCAR fans, I don't know how you watch NASCAR, but some used to. Crazy. All right, guys. Sorry for blabbing. Sean, thanks again. I think I'm going to build you a PC. Um, I already have most of the parts. Uh, you'd be willing to buy, like, a case and a power supply. I might... I might be able to hook you up with a pretty badass system. And, well, you would, I have a video card, but I, it, I mean, it's a, it's in, it's in that machine right now. It's a, it's a, it's brand new, but it's a RTX uh, 3060, but it's, it's the 12 gigabyte version with the, you know, GDR6X memory before they got cheap and started giving everyone just only uh, only six gigabytes of VRAM or eight gigabytes. So that's that's like the better one that runs everything perfect. But I'm gonna probably put something different in there. Man, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna sleep on it. Think about it. All right, peace, guys. Talk to you later.